Right, welcome back everyone. Assalamualaikum and hello. So, uh, this video is on the second mock lab test. Okay, I will discuss on the second mock lab test. So, take a look at the question here. Okay, first thing first, what you have to do is you need to load the breastcancer.arff. Okay, so open the file. Go to data. Okay. Select breastcancer.arff here, okay. Um, this data set will classify people described by a set of attribute as um, the class of recurrence event or no recurrence event, meaning that uh, is there any recurrence event of uh, breast cancer or sometimes when they recover, so there is no uh, recurrence event anymore, okay. So move on to the next to the next or the first question. Apply replace missing value filter. Okay, so you have to apply missing values first. Before that, let us take a look at detail of our data set. Okay, so we have ten attribute. One attribute will be the class. Okay, and then in all of those eight attribute. Okay, um, is there any missing values? Yes, I've seen uh, missing values mm. in node caps and then I've seen missing values in brass quad as well. So in node cap, okay, can we take a look at node cap? Okay, yeah, there's missing values here, okay, in the grey out uh, box here. So these are the missing values. So we may uh, replace the missing values with uh, mean or mode, right? Okay. So what you have to do is you need to go to unsupervised attribute and then you go to remove missing values, okay? Replace missing values, okay? So here it says that you are going to replace all missing values for nominal and numeric attribute with the modes and means from the training data, okay? Apply them, okay? If you take a look at the attribute again, okay? Note cap. So no more uh, missing values and press quad also uh, have zero missing value here. Okay. Once you have done the missing values, you need to do the modeling. So you go to classify and then firstly uh, choose J48. Okay. So go under tree J48 and then use a cross validation full time. Yeah? Use the default setting. And in the test option frame, select cross validation. Yeah, you have to select this one. And this is this this should be the class. Okay, start. Okay, record the accuracy seventy five point five two four five. Okay, it's correct here. And next is choose another model that is random tree. Okay, when you choose another model that is random tree, click on start. So this would be uh, the answer, okay. The answer would be 0839 here, okay. 69%, it's uh, slightly uh, lower than J48. So you need to justify one factor that may contribute to the result. Possibly a uh, random tree can handle this kind of data set. Uh, sorry, possibly J48 is um, better in handling this kind of data set compared to the random tree. You may, you may get some further research on this. What is the, what do you call that, um, differences between G48 and random tree? What kind of data set that they can deal with, okay? Next is question number three. Use holdout test method and report the accuracy of G48 and random tree classifier. So you have to use the default setting of holdout method. So go to percentage split 66. So the default setting is 66. Okay. So change it to G48 again. Okay. Start. See um, here um, the accuracy is 68. 0.0412 okay using the holdout method 
and take a look at the um, what they call that TPTN, FP and FN okay so your true positive would be 56 okay so this is true positive and then what is your true negative true negative is uh, it must be um, having I mean predicting on no recurrence it must be predicting no recurrence but it, it is wrongly predicted right okay so true negative would be fifth, uh, 10 here okay true negative is 10 so what about your false positive okay your false positive meaning that it should uh, predict um, uh, what they call that uh, recurrence event okay it should predict recurrence event but it predicted as no recurrence event here okay so it will be 23 what about fn fn is it should predict recurrence event but it and it correct and it correctly um says sorry it should predict uh, no recurrence event okay it should predict recurrence event but it predicted no recurrence event so it will be eight here okay same goes to um, random for a uh, random three okay start them again and you have to analyze the confusion matrix there okay move on to the next question that is question four okay Identify the predicted class for the following instances using J48 with holdout method. Okay, so what you have to do is you need to identify the predicted class of instances number 10, number 24, and number 48. So from this analysis here, okay, from this analysis, you cannot see uh, the value, right? If you take a look at here, okay, the only uh, output that they have been um, given are the rules, the number of leaf, the size, and also the summary of the result and uh, the confusion metric as well. But there is no um, predicted classes inside here. What, so what you have to do is you need to right um, click on more option and then choose in output prediction as the plain text okay so run it again okay um, run using j48 yeah because you are going to use j48 here okay so if you take a look at uh, the output here you are going to have the prediction on the test plate okay so take a look at instant number 10 okay instant number 10 so instant number 10 actual uh, predicted should be actual class should be no recurrence event so what is the predicted class is no recurrence event as well okay so it is correctly predicted what about 24 24 here okay the actual class is recurrence event but it wrongly predicted no recurrence event here so this is the, the answer uh, 46 46 uh, actual class is recurrence event okay and it correctly predicted on recurrence event as well next is question number five okay list the generated three rules from j48 classifiers so this is the one that has been in the output okay so j48 prune three so you have node caps equal to yes so this is this is the rule yeah node cap equal to yes so what would be uh, the splitting uh, recurrence event no recurrence event and also recurrence event okay so you have to write this rule okay so these are for node caps equal to yes and these are for node cap equal to no okay so um, upon question number six you can see that the question asks you from the rules in question five how many sample falls under label no recurrence event when node cap is yes okay when node cap is yes and node cap is no so you have to take a look at the node cap is yes okay here node cap is yes okay and then it asks 
uh, the label of no recurrence event no recurrence event so in no recurrence event there is one rule here number two here that is 26 so this is actually the value of sample that falls under this rule so 26 should be in here note cap is equal to yes with number of sample with a label no recurrence event and if note cap is no here no note cap is no the recurrence event would be 230 then we have another question here question number seven you have to draw the tree generated so what you have to do is you right click uh, visualize the tree Okay, so this is a simple, very simple tree. If you take a look at it, uh, it is similar from the rules that you have generated here. So for example here, if node cap is yes, so it will split into three more splitting here. So the attribute of the Malik here, where it split into recurrence event, no recurrence event and also recurrence event if is equal to one, uh, the Malik is equal to two and the Malik is equal to three. If node cap is no, then uh, automatically it falls under the no recurrence event here. Okay, next move on question number eight. Go to tab select attribute. Okay, so you have to go to tab select attribute here and then choose the setting under attribute evaluator. So this is where you are going to get the feature selection whereby you are going to get the, the best uh, features. Okay. So, attribute evaluator, you have to choose info gain. Okay, so automatically it will pop up an, an alert here. You must use the ranker search. Okay, so use the ranker search. Okay, click on yes. Okay, and then um, search method ranker with num to select is seven. So, meaning that you are going to rank it into seven uh, attribute only. Okay, so instead of we are having how many attributes that we are having? Okay, then we are ranking them into seven attributes, seven best attributes. Okay, so click on yes. Okay, and then start. So these are the best rank, the best seven rank here. Okay, so the best seven rank would be Dick Malik. Okay, number six, and then IMV nodes, okay, human size, node caps, irradiate, and also each here. It's another one here because it's seven, yeah. All right, so that would be the answer for number eight. Next is number nine. Question number nine save the reduced data set. Okay, so you have to save the reduced data set. Okay, right click on save reduce data set here. Okay, so go to, I just uh, going to save this into desktop. Okay, lab test. Okay, save. It will be saved into ARFF. Then you need to load them again. Okay, so go to desktop. Mm, okay, where is it? Um, Okay, now we have loaded on ARFF data set. Okay. Okay, so this is the, the new data set with um, seven attribute. Okay, with one class, so you have eight attribute, seven are the non class attribute. Okay. So from this reduced data set, what you have to do is you need to apply J48 again. Okay. Uh, using tenfold cross validation method okay start okay j48 is here click on start okay and then uh, report the accuracy okay so what would be the accuracy here accuracy is 75.87 okay 
okay 75.8741 okay and then what about the tp and tn and true negative and false positive this is incorrect yeah so you have to take a look at them again from here okay